we present you our Arthroscopic Acute Bony Bunker Repair Technique in Lateral Decubitus. A 29-year-old male with a primary anterior inferior shoulder dislocation of his dominant left arm caused by a motorcycle accident. Plain X-rays show an anterior inferior glenoid rim fracture. A 3D CT scan was performed to define the lesion. The procedure is performed with regional and general anesthesia and the patient is secured in lateral decubitus. These graphics show the surgical technique step by step. A posterior vision portal is created and the joint is examined looking for secondary lesions. A bony banker lesion is confirmed and a heel sac lesion is observed in the posterior lateral aspect of the humeral head. Through an anterior superior portal, an angle elevator is introduced to mobilize the fragment. Anatomical reduction is tested with an arthroscopic grasper. An anterior inferior working portal is then created just above the subscapular tendon, one centimeter medial to its humeral insertion. The arthroscope is switched to the anterior superior portal to have a global view of the glenoid and the fracture. A 3 mm double loaded anchor is placed through the anterior inferior portal in the lower part of the glenoid neck. A second anchor is placed in the same way but higher than the previous one. For the suture passage, the vision portal is changed back to the posterior one. Through the anterior inferior portal, a 45 degree angle suture passing device loaded with a nitinol loop is passed around the bone fragment through the capsular labral complex. Two different colored suture limbs of the lower anchor are retrieved and passed through the tissue. The remaining two suture limbs of the inferior anchor are passed in the same way leaving 5 mm of separation. This step is repeated with both pairs of free suture limbs from the upper anchor. This drawing shows how sutures are placed so far. Afterwards, two same color suture limbs of the inferior anchor are recovered using the anterior inferior portal and preloaded through the eyelid of a 2.9 mm knotless anchor. The anchor is placed on the glenoid face at the cartilage fracture margin and advanced maintaining tension on the sutures. The limbs of the sutures are cut flush using a suture cutter. This is repeated with the same color pair of sutures of the upper medial anchor. Anatomic fragment reduction and adequate interfragmentary compression are finally verified with a probe. Since fixation is satisfactory, the remaining sutures are removed and the surgery is finished. This drawing is a representation of our final result.